I'm sure by now, if you saw the title, then you are kind of wondering what the heck is going on. <laughs> so I was getting ready to do a review on, I forgot what, I think it was like a recipe video, but it was using the original line. And I started brewing uh, pots of coffee and I noticed that the crema was, I don't know, something felt off. I kept putting one capsule after the next and just kind of like testing out the cremas. And for some reason, you could see right through the crema as soon as it stopped brewing. I called Nespresso because this is a $600 machine. Granted, I bought it new in box from someone else on, Merc on Mercari, but for it to be even $400, it's an expensive machine for it not to produce crema, like for the good. So I called Nespresso, they made me troubleshoot it. And I told her I'm still not getting the crema that I would get from my Essenza Mini. I'm going to put a clip here to kind of give you an idea of what the Essenza Mini would give me. And I'll even brew one so that you guys can see what it looks like. Because it just, it's not, it wasn't, it's not good. I called Espresso, they troubleshoot it, they made me clean the whole machine. I even cleaned the milk wand, which I don't know what that has to do with the crema, but she had me do that. And... You know, after that, I still told her, I'm like, I feel like I'm not getting what the Essenza Mini would give me. And so she said, okay, we're going to give you um, a machine exchange. At first, she wanted me to send it in for repairs. And she told me, I asked her, how long is that going to take? And she said, two weeks. And I said, you know what? I have a YouTube channel where I review stuff for Nespresso, and I don't want to wait two weeks. And so then she said, okay, we'll send you out a replacement and you'll just have to send out the other Cortista Plus pack. Perfect. So that is why I now have two machines because I finally got the machine that they sent out to, to replace it. So I have to unload this one, clean it out and send it back. They said they were going to send me an email and I never received the email. So I actually have to contact them and, you know, ask them to send me the email with the shipping label so that I could send this one back. But I'm going to unbox another Cortista Plus. I'm sure you guys are interested in that. It's going to be quicker than the first one. If you want a more in-depth, like, unboxing, then for sure watch my first uh, Cortista Plus unboxing video. I'll link it up above. But today I mainly want to unbox it, do the cleaning really quickly, and then test out the crema. Before I disconnect this one, I'm going to brew another pot so you guys can see. And I said it on my Instagram video. If the crema is still the same, and that's literally just how the machine produces crema, like a blah crema, then I'm really not going to recommend this machine because it's an expensive machine. It looks really pretty, but honestly, you don't need it. If you have the Essenza Mini, if you have the Essenza Plus which I think now is discontinued, those machines worked really well. Two of my sisters actually kept either machine, like each machine, I had both of them. So my younger sister has the Mini Essenza and then my older sister has the Essenza Plus and they're both still working really well. They produce really good crema. So if this machine still is the same, then this one's really not broken. It's just the machine that sucks. Let's hope that's not the case though because I really like the look of this machine, I like the milk frothing feature because it does give you different textures of milk that you can work with because each drink is actually a different texture of milk and that's why each drink is a different name, macchiatos, lattes, and you know, stuff like that. So let's unbox it and fingers crossed that it works. Oh, I said I was gonna brew a capsule. I'm gonna brew a capsule just to show you guys. And it was funny because she told me that the, like the vanilla clears, caramels, and corto chiaro, and all of those are made for milk, so those don't produce good crema. That's what she said. <laughs> but in one of my mini Essenza video stories on Instagram, I, cause you know, our Instagram archives all the stories, so I went back. And I'm brewing, I think it was Chiaro or Quarto. I, can, I don't remember, maybe Squirrel. And the crema was so good. So she did make me brew Café do Brasil, which is like a stronger one. And it, the crema was a little bit better, but in my opinion, it should produce a good amount of crema for every capsule, regardless of what it is, because they're all espresso capsules. So let's, let's brew the caramel one. I'm gonna show you what it does. And then just for shoes and giggles, just for she's knees and giggles, we're, we'll uh, brew the Kazar, which is a lot stronger. I'm telling you, my Essenza Mini would always make really good crema with these 
caramel, vanilla, all of those. Look at how you can see right through it. My Essence Mini, and it's like so bubbly. It's not like creamy. You could see the coffee underneath in this little area. It's just weak. And it starts disappearing almost instantly. Okay, this is Kazar. Okay, so this is Kazar, and I did tell her that Kazar looked a little bit better compared compared to the Vanilla Eclair. Look at this, this is already like sad. And so she told me that these have less crema, and again, I do not remember that being the case with any of my other machines. So like I said, Kazar does look a lot better. That should be how all of my pads should be, but for a $600 machine, it should not be the case. Okay, so call me crazy, but again, I'm gonna find more reels of my mini Essenza because I, sometimes I feel like I'm being too picky, but Nespresso's customer service, in my experience, has always backed all of the machines that I purchased. As soon as I buy them, I register them. And even if it's a gift or, you know, in my case, I bought it off Mercari, but it was new in box, you can still register your machine and she asked me like you know where did you get it and i said i bought it on mercari um but it was new in box and she told me okay i'll just put it as a you know as a gift and you could just say that just i got it as a gift but if it's under warranty all the serial numbers will go through so if it's under warranty they stand behind it so she said okay we'll send you a new machine we already troubleshooted it as much as we can we'll send you a new machine especially because these freaking machines are so expensive so let's open it up so i'm gonna remove this old one and then we'll set up the new one. Oh, and when I called, she had me do so many troubleshootings. So she pretty much wasted a lot of my pods. And But she told me, you know, I will replace a lot of the pods. So she sent out this, which is kind of like just random it's like a sampler pack this is actually like an updated one because it has a new packaging i highly doubt this one has an updated one um but yeah i have these to replace the ones that she had me use so let's open this sucker up and if you saw my unboxing from the last video i had a hard time opening this up so i hope this is a better experience now that i at least know how. Oh, I hate the sound of styrofoam. That was a lot easier than the first time. We have another milk pitcher. This is the base. And then this is the serial number right here. So as soon as you get your machine, register it. I don't think it matters, but I just always do because um, it does ask you the date of purchase and that way it's at least fresh in your mind. So this is the base and then this is a water tank. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse both and then we'll get the machine started. And something that I do like about this machine is that it's super easy to start with. It'll tell you exactly what to do. Okay, moment of truth. Let's choose, I'm gonna do the same pod because this is the one that, if it doesn't do this one, then I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. Same little cup, pop it right in there. What the heck? Is that the same? I don't know. I guess it's different. 
because I can't see through the coffee. I mean, in those little bubbles, you kind of can. This is upsetting because this machine is so expensive. Let me do another pod. Let me do the same one because our, hold on. Okay, at least this one, I could see it from the top. It's at least holding its um, crema a little longer compared to the other one, but it's still kind of flimsy. Okay, so this is Kazar. This is Vanilla Eclair. I'm just gonna, I mean, she did say that sometimes the pods are different crema, but again, I don't remember that being the case with my Essenza Mini. This crema is a lot better, so at least that's nice. This looks like a sad little espresso. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. This machine is $600, okay? And it produces a medio crema. On Instagram, I asked some of you guys if you guys can send me pictures and videos of yours, and it, they all looked a lot better than this one. Moral of the story is just because the machine is expensive doesn't mean it's better. I don't think this is better. I think it's a pretty machine, but you don't really need it. If you need to know now, it's not worth $600 at all. So this is Vanilla Eclair. You could see right through it. This one's pretty good. So I don't know, maybe she's right. And maybe she says um, it depends on the pod. But again, I don't remember that happening with my Essenza Mini. So let's just hope that the crema becomes better and better with more and more use. Because at this point, at this point, at least Vanilla Eclair is not. I want to try this one. Let's let's test out Fredo Intenso. Okay, this is um, Fredo Intenso. It's a lot nicer, in my opinion, I guess. You can still kind of see right through it. I feel like it'll end up looking like this. Um, but look at because they're still holding its own. So maybe it is the capsule. I'm just gonna sit down, shut up, and let it do its thing. You know, I keep going back to I don't remember the Essenza Mini ever doing that. So I, I'm just I'm just gonna keep using it. At least I know this one's new and it, it brews the espresso. And I've said it in some of my stories on Instagram how crema is almost over overrated in my opinion. I really don't care for it. It's super bitter and it's almost disgusting on its own don't come for me because i said that but you know just just want a machine that actually produces the way it should produce especially if i'm spending that much money that's that was my only gripe but if the crema still is flimsy and it lacks i'm, I'm just gonna leave it alone and keep using it regardless because the milk steams did work everything else worked really well really well so i'm just gonna leave it at that but i just wanted to make this video in case you guys are wondering as far as you know your crema and like even like my thoughts on this machine it's not it's not worth the 600 dollars if you want it maybe wait for a sale i think around christmas they have it on sale um or if you have purchased so many machines from nespresso and just want this one ask them for a 30 percent off coupon sometimes if you call customer service they will give it to you i just don't think you should shell out 600 dollars for this machine because i don't think it's worth it but my next video is going to be about a no pod buy so for the month of October and November, I'm not gonna be buying any new pods. And I already said this, I already shared this on my Instagram. And a lot of you guys are excited and even doing it with me because we have so many in our stash. I know you guys do too. So for these two months, I'm gonna force myself not to buy any new pods. And if there are any new releases, just know that I'm not buying any new pods. And if those new releases are available in the future after December 6th is when I'm gonna stop my no buy because that's when we should close on our new house. Then after December 6th, if those pods are available, I will purchase them and review them for you guys. But within these two months, no buy, no copy pod buy. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I will be explaining a little bit more what's gonna happen within these two months. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.